I'm Kurt Clayman, and this is Andrew Cadby, and we're doing the NFL data analysis. Um, for our data, we've used every team's stats since 1990. Um, we found four important variables, which is off of uh, rushing yards per attempt, um, as well as passing yards per attempt. And on the defensive side, we have passing yards given up per attempt, as well as rushing yards given up per attempt. Um, for the dependent variable, we decided to use the number of wins per season, which is basically the only thing that matters in the NFL. And also, when we uh, checked out our equation, we tested it for time fixed and um, entity fixed effects. However, all that, all that that did was lower the adjusted R squared as well as the F value, so it's not a factor. So this is uh, our SAS output. With just, we didn't use any of the time fixed effects. Um, conventional wisdom says rushing offense and rushing defense are the most important statistics in a winning football team, but in fact we found that passing offense and passing defense were far more important than running the ball. Uh, these are all heteroscedastic consistent errors and t-values. So we had 577 teams, a uh, pretty high f value and r squared. So basically what we found is the passing offense and passing defense is, while they're all statistically significant, this is the most important statistic. And um, we didn't have any multicollinearity problems, though the variance inflation was pretty low. Um, obviously, the team, average team wins about eight games per year, and our prediction wasn't too far off. The average error is about 1.75. Uh, so I think when we're structuring our paper, we're going to talk about how conventional wisdom about the uh, Running game is, is not necessarily true, and teams should focus a lot more on passing offense and passing defense when they're structuring their team mm -hmm. for the upcoming season. Um, it's pretty much.